This video is brought to you by sellcashier.com. Sellcashier compares iPhone prices online and gives you a quick quote to get the most cash for your used iPhone. Check out the description down below to get a quick quote, ship your iPhone and get paid. Hey, what's up folks? How's it going? This is Waj. Hope you guys are all doing well. So I've been playing around with the new iPhone 10 and I've been really liking it. One of the things I wanted to test out is the battery performance in comparison to some of its competitors, as well as the standard iPhone 8 and 8 Plus. So what we're going to do is I'll run through a couple of different uh, tests, uh, specifically comparing uh, the battery performance in both in a real world circumstance, as well as a run through uh, the Geekbench uh, battery test comparison in uh, including the iPhone 10, 8 Plus, the standard 8, as well as the Samsung S8 and Note 8. So you have a good idea in terms of how all of these smartphones compare against each other when it comes to battery life. So without any further ado, let's get right into it. Now the first thing that we're going to do is actually take a look at the battery specs on the new iPhone 10. So it's a non-removable lithium ion battery rated at 2716 milliamp hours. That's actually a little bit bigger than what we find on the iPhone 8 Plus, which is a 2691 and certainly a lot more than the standard iPhone rated at 1821. But both the Note 8 and the S8 do have a higher overall capacity. The Note 8 is 3300 milliamp hours and the S8 is at 3000 milliamp hours. Now, all of these devices are actually uh, Qi wireless charging enabled, so you can use any kind of Qi pad to uh, charge them, which is awesome and convenient. Really nice to see all the iPhones support that. And if you're using a 5 amp charger, they all have the ability to be fast charged, so you can get roughly 50% charge in about 30 minutes time period. And also you can see that we've listed the uh, full charge time from 0 to 100% on all of these devices, so you can take a look at that as well. Now, the standard battery life test that we'd like to use uh, to kind of give a fair comparison is a video playback test using the VLC app on both Android and iOS. We play the same video on loop. We uh, set the screen brightness to about 50% and we turn the device into airplane mode so we don't have any kind of interference with notifications or anything. So uh, basically we just let the phones run until they die out and then we simply measure the time it took uh, for the battery to get from 100% to 0% discharge charge and here are the results over here now comparing uh, the uh, iphone 10 uh, to everything else it actually comes in third place overall first uh, goes to the note 8 with 14 hours 48 minutes second goes to the iphone 8 plus with 14 hours 21 minutes and the iphone 8 even though with its small overall battery capacity still did a very respectable 13 hours 44 minute and actually beat out the s8 with a 13 hour 20 minutes so overall i think all these devices did phenomenally well if you you're on an airplane or something like that and you have a long flight uh, thankfully you do have a lot of battery performance for playing back movies tv shows or whatever you like which is awesome now another thing that we did is actually use geekbench's built-in battery life drain test so uh, this basically takes your uh, fully charged phone to zero percent and it simply just measures the time it took uh, to run the benchmark and we did uh, turn on the uh, screen dim setting so just if you want to uh, confirm some of our results and here are the results over here uh, funny enough the s8 actually won this time around it got about seven hours 33 minutes the note 8 got seven hours 30 minutes and uh, the iphone 8 plus actually got five hours 12 minutes uh, the iphone 10 got four hours 36 minutes and the iphone just the standard iphone 8 uh, came in at three hours 36 minutes but besides that guys uh, that's really it uh, hopefully this gave you some sort of insight in terms of how all these smartphones compare against each other when it comes to battery life but at the end of the day it's going to depend upon your usage profile and how you ultimately uh, use the device from a day-to-day -day basis it's certainly guaranteed that all these devices are going to give you at least a day of a real world usage no matter how hardcore you are with the applications that you're going to use uh, but generally speaking since they have wireless charging and fast charging capabilities i don't think many people will have a problem in the short term when it comes to battery performance on these particular devices so hopefully this uh, video helped you out if it did uh, please give us a thumbs up and one last word from our sponsor thanks for watching
Now, if any of you guys out there want to get rid of your used iPhone, there's actually a pretty quick and handy way to do it using sellcashier.com. They basically purchase all sorts of uh, different iPhones. You basically select whichever phone you want to uh, get rid of. They purchase actually all major US carriers and they operate currently only in the United States. Just simply click through the carrier that you're using, the capacity of your iPhone and the overall condition of your physical device. And then you'll get a fair quote to give you an estimate on how much the value will be for your used device. Cell Cashier can even cover the shipping costs, whether that's a prepaid label uh, providing your own box or they'll send you a label and a box for free. So if you don't want to go through the other means of getting rid of your iPhone, this is definitely a handy and fast way to do it and it's pretty secure as well. Again, check out the link in the description down below for more detailed information about everything.